So we can also classify neurons based on their type, so based on their form and size, based on their structure and based on their function. So there are different forms and sizes of neurons and they basically have different shapes. So we have pyramidal, horizontal, granular, polymorphic and star-like. When we're classifying neurons based on their structure, they can either be unipolar, multipolar or bipolar. So unipolar neurons, they're basically sensory and they just consist of the axon and the dendrite. Multipolar neurons are usually motor neurons and they have quite a few processes. So they have one axon and several dendrites. We also have bipolar neurons which are spherical in shape and they have one axon and one dendrite and they're usually located in the eyes of the retina. And finally, when we're classifying neurons based on their function, they can either be afferent, so they're usually sensory and they are heading upwards towards the brain or the spinal cord. Efferent, so they're motor and they're heading from either the brain or the spinal cord to a muscle or an organ. And we also have interneuron as well, which is the connection between afferent and efferent neurons. So what's contained inside a neuron or a nerve cell is very similar to other cells. So the soma will have a nucleus, a cytoplasm. Uh, the, the difference is they contain something called nissle bodies, which are like aggregations of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Their function is to make proteins, but they're also useful in staining neurons. Uh, there's also ribosomes and the other organelles that you'll see in a typical of an animal cell.